Hola guys, Elfed here. Uh, today I'm going to be painting up uh, a mask. I am uh, more than painting, I'm matching a color. Uh, what the project is, is uh, a mask made by Reeves FX for uh, B-Boy Spider-Man and a suit made, I believe, by RPC. I, I, I think this is a custom project that uh, uh, Luke Luzo is going to be wearing uh, soon. And uh, the situation here is the mask uh, is obviously a different material. This is a latex max, mask that's made um, kind of in the same, uh, trying to get the same color scheme as the suit, the bodysuit. But uh, as you can tell, the bodysuit is obviously uh, a different shade of blue than the mask, right? So without repainting the whole mask, I'm going to do my best to try to match it so that it, it at least doesn't jump out as you as much as uh, as what you see here right now so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be masking off the lightning bolt and the the little detail around the ear here with some fast mask and then I'm gonna be using acrylics uh, just some white uh, some uh, bright blue to kinda get that color what I'm gonna be painting is the mask not the suit so you can kinda of see this uh, color kinda gets close to uh, to the fabric so hopefully I can bring that up into the mask uh, I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of, of metallic blue just to kinda of get uh, a little more uh, texture on it and then uh, some pearlized uh, kind of like electric turquoise uh, blue as well as some black to just kind of add a bit of shading uh, to the details of the mask you see the bolts here and everything uh, just to kind of give it a little more depth um, and kind of have it shaded the same style as the bodysuit all right so for the bolt I'm just gonna do uh, some masking tape uh, just for the for that big bolt and then for these for this little detail here I'm gonna do a fast mask liquid latex pretty much what it is it's the one uh, that you've seen me do without before and just use uh, toothpaste I decided to pick one up and you know uh, for the last uh, Boba Fett uh, paint job that I did I, I used fast mask and then I'm just gonna use a brush probably this smaller brush to just kind of go around that whole circle area so I'm gonna be using about 40% water some uh, Windex just a little tiny bit. I'm gonna add some of this bright blue combined with uh, this uh, satin white. And then at the end, I'm gonna seal with some Liquitex. like it's starting to get that lighter blue uh, it's gonna take several coats though so with all this simulated glow and everything and in the flash I had the idea to add some uh, pearlized color to this which is also kind of close to to this but just to bring in a bit of a sheen and I'm getting some pretty nice results check it out So check it out, after adding uh, a few more uh, metallic uh, colors into the mix, I managed to get closer to this kind of like changing blue theme going on in the, in the suit. Now this is going to be, obviously it's a different material, so this is, it's, the mask is latex and the suit is uh, just a, a dice of made of, you know, uh, swim trico or cotton. So the latex mask isn't gonna match exactly, but I took some creative liberties, made it metallic, and voila, how cool is this finish? I think this is gonna look pretty sweet. Check it out. 
So now it has a little bit of a shine to it too. Blues kind of change with the light as well. And I'm gonna go over with the airbrush on all of these little thunderbolts, kind of shade it up a little bit. And I think it's gonna make a, a pretty nice pair with this suit. So this is how easy that fast mask comes out. Pretty nice, huh? That pearlescent uh, paint really gave it some uh, some cool effect on the top. It's a little bit dark in here. Let me see if I can open up this this window, get a little bit more light. Okay. And I apologize. Uh, I'm making these kind of like as I'm working uh, on these things. I'm shooting different things at the same time. I, I shot a video for the for the halo helmet that I painted up uh, yesterday as well. So I was working on both things simultaneously as one was drying, I was working on the other one and all that. And it was a little hard to do all that as I'm shooting a video for each of them as well. But, uh, so I'm gonna show you show you the paint mix and just kind of take you through the, the prep work that I did for this. Uh, it was uh, a little bit experimental for me because I usually don't work on a, on latex masks, I I, I work uh, on uh, suits like you know like fabrics, dyeing, uh, just weathering, distressing fabrics. But latex masks are kind of another world uh, in itself. So the good thing with this mask was that the texture for it was already kind of uh, it's not super smooth. So it was really picking up the paint really nicely. Uh, otherwise I would have had to like, maybe taken a, a very, very light um, uh, sandpaper, like probably like the finest of the sandpapers and just kind of like go over the mask so that it kind of, that paint has somewhere to go and doesn't just kind of like slide off. Um, but luckily with this mask, I didn't have to do that. The texture was already kind of porous, not porous, but like there was some, a little bit of ruggedness to it. So it helped uh, keep the paint in place. Uh, since I didn't get uh, special paints for latex uh, or silicone, you know, those, those are special paints that you have to get. I used acrylics on this. So when you do acrylics, you have to do kind of like uh, some prep work before you paint, um, either sanding down or putting on a coat of something similar to to, to this guy, to Liquitex. Uh, just, it's something that you either brush on, or if you have a, a good enough airbrush uh, with a big enough needle, you can just like kind of airbrush that on with a bit of water. Um, I didn't have to do this on this mask, uh, but I did do it at the end just to kind of seal all the paint in. So this is the paint mix. I went with uh, 
white and this bright blue first just to kind of get a match a good match on the on the fabric this was kind of something that I found that was pretty close so along with some white I would get that effect of you know there's like supposed highlights and shadows that are happening if this suit was made of latex too it would probably be like in the real world it would have kind of like this effect where it's kind of like glowing in some parts so use that for the base then I added some metallic blue and this was the same paint that Vinny used on on the Giver suit back there so as you can see it's a very different finish, it's not as metallic, but I went a little heavier with it to get this uh, sheen. Uh, and then at the end, to top it off, I went with the Createx Pearlized. This was a turquoise, pearl turquoise. So what I did with this one was just kind of give it, see this is not like exactly the right blue but when you bring it onto the mask it gives you a sense of like different blues happening simultaneously you know depending on how the light hits it so after all that was uh on the mask did a few co coats gave it about like three passes then at the end i just went over all of these details all of these seams with just some some acrylic black uh, with a little bit of white just to kind of get like those little shadowy areas I brought it on to the to the to the emblem as well just to kind of give it a little bit of shadow and then see across the back just like to add a little bit of more interest to it and uh, that's pretty much it that was the process for for this guy. What are you guys saying? Uh, so keep in mind when you're doing the final coat with the Liquitex uh, glazing medium is what I used. It's very viscous. Uh, ideally, you have to brush it on, but since I didn't want any brush strokes on this, I didn't want to have any, you know, any, anything like that visible on the paint job. I airbrushed it. I I, I mixed it with water, uh, diluted it a little bit, and airbrushed it. Uh, to give it a, a couple coats. I did like three coats um, and that's just to keep the paint on there, but Make sure I, I didn't want to close out the video without uh, saying this if you do airbrush uh, Using Liquitex or anything similar make sure you clean your airbrush afterwards Right afterwards and and be very very thorough. I, I take my airbrush apart after every paint job But especially after using something like this you really really don't want to let that sit inside the airbrush and it'll just clog it because this is super viscous so that's it i think that's uh that was that was it and hopefully uh it uh kind of like gave you an idea of what uh what the steps are to paint something like this or to achieve a similar paint job or this exact uh paint job so that's it thank you guys